Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of NAB 2016 on Be Terrific. You are the Terrifics, and you make Be Terrific special. Oh, I'm so excited for this guest. I have got a really, really great guest. Guido from Ozo, from Nokia Ozo is here. Nokia Ozo is the greatest 360 camera right now. It is unbelievable. I keep saying all week, it is the red of 360 VR video. I'll tell you how I fell in love with the camera, <laughs> and you probably already know this. Uh, you guys did a video with NASCAR, That's and right. it's in the car and it crashes, or the car crashes, not the camera. And you feel like you're in the car. And to me, that is the perfect example of what to do with VR. We're doing a lot of great VR stuff. I think there are a lot of people who are doing great VR stuff. There are a lot of people who don't know what to do with it and aren't doing great stuff. <laughs> that NASCAR video was amazing. And I said, Thank the you. first thing I said, I said, Adam, find out what camera that was. <laughs> and he was like, well, how am I going to find that out? And I said, find it out. And it came back an hour later. It's the Ozo. You found it. <laughs> and we found it. And I was blown away. Um, so thanks for being here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting us. It, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, how many cameras are on the Ozo? So we have uh, eight cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, each camera is a 2K by 2K sensor, global shutter. So the eight cameras are shooting uh, uh, all at the same time and the frame are perfectly synchronized. Uh, each uh, lens cover 195 degrees. Uh, so there's a huge overlap between all the cameras. Uh, and the intent is really to have two layers of pixels uh, so that when, uh, when you display it, you have enough pixels for the left and the right eye for a perfect 3D stereoscopic viewing. Uh, and eight microphones uh, for the special uh, sound. That's wonderful. Uh, I think the footage I've seen off it, it has been amazing. Um, the only question I have is sometimes, and, and uh, the stuff I've looked at off Ozo, but it only happens sometimes, and maybe it's user error, there's some ghosting. Is that normal, or is that something that uh, is user error? Uh, it, it really depends on uh, exposure, lighting, uh, stitching, post-processing, sure. it's kind of a combination. We have now. to remember, we're still at the beginning of this, this is the infancy, and there's <laughs> some issues with everything. It is absolutely the best camera I've seen, Thank hands you. down. I think the dynamic range on it is great, I think Global Shutter helps that. Uh, I am so impressed with, with the camera. Does it do the stitching in the camera or you do it after the fact? No, so the camera is really, the purpose of the camera is to capturing as much data as possible so that depending on what is your need from a post-production point of view, you have access to all the data available and then one cable comes out of the cable, a SDI cable, and that SDI cable carry all the eight cameras. Uh, Outside, uh, we have uh, the Ozo Creator, that is a software, um, and the software can either extract uh, the individual DP axis of the camera, because some people use their own stitching uh, or their own special effect, uh, but the Ozo Creator also stitch in 3D, uh, so that if you don't have a stitching solution, uh, you can generate uh, a 3D stitch uh, version uh, of the video. So what's exciting about 3D stitching is, is the fact that now you're getting depth. So right now, if you just watch regular 360 video, right. there's no depth to it, it's a 2D image. 3D gives you the depth, which is really nice. Yes. Are you able to, uh, I guess later on, you can marry audio to it uh, in post-production. If you were streaming live off of it, how can you insert audio in? So we're, we're, we're doing that right now, actually. Okay. Uh, but for the live broadcasting solution, uh, uh, we need uh, a dedicated uh, live stitching uh, that is very, very fast. Are you uh, using Vahana or? Uh, or no, we're using our own stitching uh, with, uh, with a powerful PC. Uh, and then we're feeding uh, the elemental technology encoder and then you know, publishing through the Akamai platform. But uh, what is interesting, we develop a technology where uh, not only we can take the eight microphones of the Ozo and send it with a stitch version so that when, when you turn you hear what the Ozo is hearing, uh, but we also have uh, uh, dynamic uh, mixing, meaning we can RF tag uh, each mic that is not part of the Ozo uh, and dynamically mix it so that, for example, if your voice needs to be 20% louder than what the Ozo is hearing, uh, no matter where you are around the camera, it's capped uh, at 20%. You higher. guys have thought of everything. Uh, I really, really like the camera and what you're talking about and what you're doing. It's not inexpensive. It's $60,000. I imagine you then need uh, something uh, to, some kind of computer like a, a Mac Pro, a Mac Pro uh, that's pretty beefy though, it's not the standard off the shelf Mac Pro. You need a PC if you're going to stream live off of it. Um, 
it's a beefy setup, but I think it's worth the investment for the people who are really serious about creating uh, VR content, especially in 3D. <laughs> um, talk about how long it took for the camera to be developed. Uh, we really started from uh, scratch. So the guy that invented it started in November 2013. Uh, but as internal thought, uh, he presented a kind of drawing uh, saying, I would like some money to start prototyping this, right? And you know, as lab, uh, you, you fund the project, uh, but you don't know what is going to happen with that. Um, the acceleration really started uh, in mid-2014, uh, uh, when the company started really believing that this is the future and we definitely want to have a professional device because uh, without content, the technology cannot catch on. It doesn't matter which technology right. you have. You need quality content. User-generated content too, but quality content is very, very key. So I've heard whispers around here that Nokia is actually losing money on every camera. Is that true? Because no. I, I didn't think so. I can't but I've heard that. And, and, and the reason why I heard that was that you wanted to really push the technology and push the limits and get it out into people's hands. Yeah. Um, but that is either, true. Either, <laughs> that is true, yes. And, and uh, you've offered uh, to certain production companies, you're offering a very special discount right. if they're a small production company to kind of further them. So there's a, a big discount available if, if, you meet the, if you fit the bill for small right. production companies. That's the Pioneer program. Uh, but the, in essence, what we did is we accelerated the delivery of this product to the marketplace because VR is at the beginning. Yes. And we don't know which one are the verticals that will really catch a big audience versus not. Sure. And we need to be trying everything possible as fast as possible. So we created a camera that is very efficient. It's costly, but you can rent it, for example. Right. And, and your efficiency in your higher cost of production hours, so when you have actors, location, and everything, instead of spending you know, four hours building a rig, uh, you spend those four hours doing different tests, different Absolutely. tries. And you really should test with it yeah. a lot, all of them, and no matter what you're doing, it, it's a different world, and it we is. have to get it right. Um, what about uh, the, the I'm just so blown away with how well it's put together. What about the ease of use? Is it easy to use? It's really easy to, I mean, it's a professional camera, so you, you need to understand the basic of right. camera, right? But, but I mean, but, if, uh, if, if you're a camera operator, you should be able to 30 use 30 minutes. This. Yeah. Literally, 30 minutes. Wow. The, the, I mean, the camera itself, the things that you can change are less than a 2D camera, right? Wow. You, you cannot change lenses, for example. Right, right? exactly. Uh, but can you change focus? No. Uh, no, you cannot change, well, you can uh, change exposure, but not focus. Uh, but the essence of it is to be ready and then try different sets, try different things. The live monitoring is uh, what, what is really taking, uh, uh, taking off as key feature because you can see inside the camera and see what the camera is shooting. Right. And so you can have a sense of your artistic intent uh, saying, you know, I want that actor closer further away or whatever it is. And the, stitch, the stitching is very good on the, on the Ozo. Uh, you barely notice them, but at least then you're able to make sure that an actor's head is not right, right. in the stitch. Uh, that is very important. Now, um, as far as the stitching goes, um, is, it, is it an easy process because of the cameras are fixed? There's never a chance of a, a one yeah, of the lenses moving? I mean, moving? we export all, all the data and we, and we publish the intrinsic of the camera itself because if people want to develop their own algorithm, yeah. they need to be able to do that. We did a partnership with Deluxe, we are working with the Foundry, uh, we are providing our own stitching in the software. Uh, ultimately, uh, I don't believe that our stitching uh, has to be the best ever, uh, uh, but I want everybody to develop better and better stitching, sure. better and better special effects, uh, and really enable everybody to develop a further and more sophisticated solution around it. Uh, what about, uh, you know, you guys are part of Microsoft, the, the Microsoft family. No, no not anymore? No, the phones, uh, as, so only we the are phones. the Nokia tech. Uh, only the, so only the phones. So we are the leftover of the, of the business. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I, because my next question was going to be, how does this play into AR and the HoloLens? Uh, it, it does uh, in terms of, we generate content. So uh, to me, VR, AR, in, in principle, when you want to watch content uh, is, is our device that generate the content. Sure. Uh, now, overlaying with, with reality and so on and other application is not our world. Right, uh, but it, it, you can do it, especially because of the 3D. Absolutely. It makes it much more available. Right. Yeah, special effects and so on, augmenting uh, is, is possible. Uh, uh, does it take a battery? Can I use a battery? Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the features that we created. Uh, the, the camera can operate with no cables uh, and has uh, uh, about 45 minutes uh, of uh, power and storage. Uh, so you can put the Ozo on a drone and let it fly for 45 minutes, uh, 
Uh, Longer than the drone battery. <laughs> and then you can swap uh, battery and, and data storage for another 45 minutes and ongoing. How much um, storage do you need? I, I heard, and I can't imagine this being true, but I heard that it's a uh, one terabyte for 20 seconds. Is it, no, is it more no, like no, one no, terabyte no, no, for no. 20 minutes? Uh, no, we're talking about 500 gigabytes for 40 minutes. Okay, that's not yeah. bad at all. It's not bad. It's not, not at all. I mean, it's a lot, but it's well, not bad. Well, I mean, listen, <laughs> it's a lot of information, it's a lot of cameras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait till we can play with one and, and, and do Soon. some stuff with you guys. Yeah. I think it'll be awesome. We uh, we'd love to review them. And uh, we'd love to do more with you guys. I, I'm telling you, without a doubt, I'm very impressed by this. It is right now Thank the so best 360 camera out there. And it is the Nokia Ozo. Without a awesome. doubt, it is the red or the Ari Alexa <laughs> of 360 VR. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. You Thank guys you have done such us. a great, a, a great job. You. And I, I can't wait to have you on again in, in the yeah. future and do more with you guys and watch all the content that's created with it. And I hope that we get to create some yeah, great content finish, with it as the well. The finished team is going to be excited. Yeah. <laughs> and they're shipping now. Yeah, we're shipping. We're so shipping. place your order. Yes, you don't want to miss out. All right, we'll be back with a whole lot more. Your live continuing NAB 2016 coverage on Be Terrific, presented by Data Video right after this.